All right, thanks, Deanne. Well, it's Halloween weekend, and law enforcement officials are doing what they can to protect trick-or-treaters. Every year, there is an increase in deadly crashes on this weekend. And on your side is Marco Villarreal joining us live this morning from some of the heights with what we all need to be doing this weekend. Good morning, Marco. Hi, good morning. And I think one of the biggest things we all need to do, whether you're behind the wheel or you're out trick-or-treating on the roads, and that is to be vigilant, especially because it is Halloween, and it's so easy to get distracted by all the spooky things. A recent study by AutoInsurance.org shows that from 2004 to 2018, law enforcement saw an increase in deadly crashes. 18% of those who die on Halloween are kids. Is it an issue that we have encountered before? Yes, and so we're preparing for that. This is something Florida Highway Patrol says they see every year. A spokesperson with the agency tells Aid on Your Side contributing factors include families and their little goblins and ghouls heading out at dusk or after dark, distractions from the excitement of costumes and candy, and the high number of pedestrians out at one time. There are things that parents can do to protect their families, and it starts with what they wear. We encourage them to wear uh, bright colored clothes, uh, so conspicuity becomes an issue so they can be seen by other drivers. Um, reflective armbands, uh, maybe some uh, like a little pedestrian light hanging off the, the children, off you yourself, you know, even the parents. Um, so you can be seen. But there's a lot to be said to drivers as well. Florida Highway Patrol says people should pay more attention while on the roads this weekend. Expect there to be kids running back and forth from house to house and entering the path of a car unexpectedly. So drive slowly, make sure your lights are on, make sure you're paying attention, put the phones down so we're not distracted. Uh, pay attention so somebody doesn't get hurt. And law enforcement, you can expect them to be out in full force this weekend. They're going to have more DUI patrols out there. They're going to be making sure that drivers and pedestrians are all following the laws. The name of the game is safety this weekend. We want everyone to have fun and make sure they get home so they can eat all that candy. For now, reporting live in Seminole Heights, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.